Hello and welcome back to Deadfire. Last time we found this volcano with Shadowed Vale written on it. And we're going to have a look and we'll see what's there. There are pirates of a very high level coming out of it. We're definitely going to get off here and just see what's going on. Okay, so if I want to head over here, how are we going to go about that? The Hall of the Unseen. Okay. Way to sound ominous. How do I get over here? Do I have to head all the way around? Or do I have to go through the Hall of the Unseen or the Shadowed Veil? Hmm. Oh, am I going into the Shadowed Veil now? Land here is shattered and barren, eer eerily quiet, with jagged hillocks plunging abruptly into calm, clear seas. No birds fly above. You've not spotted the first boar, rat, or lizard. By comparison, the camp ahead positively bustles. Horses are tied off to stakes. A robed figure, cowl pulled over its head, sits upon a crate, and the scent of a hearty stew wafts from the pot hanging over the small campfire. Thoughts? Um, anyone? I don't know. Eddier? Alright, alright. First we get there into their good graces with carrots. Then we brush out the manes that look matted. If they're not our friends by then, we go back to the carrots. Eddier's attention lingers on the horses. Alagina? If it's a trap, it doesn't seem like much of one. Zoti? Zoti? Zoti has no thoughts. Aloth? Something isn't right here. There's an unusual magic presence, but I can't pinpoint. Zoti? Oh, Zoti says the same thing as Palagina. Let's sneak up. Ooh, we don't actually don't have that high a sneak. You know what, let's approach it. As you advance, the flaps on two of the closer tents open, disgorging a lathe wood elf in Adarian finery, a bulky Amoa with that cerulean skin, one of the savannah folk who lev levels a large crossbow at your heart. Not another step, stranger, he says. The elf smiles warmly at you, rather mixing the message. The robed figure within the camp makes no movement at all. Who are you? The Adirian, still smiling, cants her head slightly to the right. Who is anyone? Her words ring melodically, almost harmonizing with themselves. Who are you? Well, I am a watcher, an adventurer, a writer of wrongs, and a saviour of small folk. The island of Moa's lips curl into an expression somewhere between a grimace and a grin. And many things beside, no doubt. My friend likes her horses. Eddie nods. We haven't probably met yet, so I couldn't say for sure, but I got a good feeling about them. The Adirian woman bows her head slightly, uh, bows slightly at the waist, brown hair falling over her face in loose curls. In that case, who are we to keep you from our company? Please join us by the fire gestures to the camp. The trio guide you among the tents. There seems too many for the kith you see about. The elf graciously offers you a seat at the fire. The robed figure makes no apparent notice of your arrival, their cowl casting a visage in impenetrable shadow. We have soup, the Amawa says. Stew, really? And you're welcome to make use of our tents if you care to rest. Oh. Who's your hooded friend? The woman laughs slightly. Just that, perhaps you should ask yourself. Hey, who are you? The figure makes no response at all as firelight and shadow play along the folds of its robes. Well, let's have a look underneath the hood. You approach the figure who makes no move. Each step you takes you closer, yet somehow further away. The crossing seems to take minutes and the campfire falls away to your periphery. That you can't stop. Bending low, you peer under the hood into the face within. The hairless face with pale grey skin, thin lips and a narrow nose and no eye sockets at all. What in the name of whale is going on here? The visage smiles, its mouth curling at the corners. The figure stands. You shudder. No, the ground shudders or the air. The dirt churns beneath your feet. Your stomach leaps into your throat and the ground opens beneath you. Plunge into darkness. When you wake, the ground is bare. No tents, no horses, no traces, even a campfire. Oh. 
Okay. Weird. I assume it's something to do with the religion of whale, but I have no idea. Got reptilian eyes there. And this one? I'm still a little bit perplexed by that. Kraken's eye. Time to go to the Hall of the Unseen. Let's uh, do it. After an arduous journey, you finally reach the centre of the jungle. Before you is a broad-faced stone building rugged with age. The Eye of Whale, solitary and all-seeing, is emblazoned above the door. You approach the door. Though clearly made only of stone, you feel the burn of the eyes regard between your eyes. The door swings open without a sound and reveals a dark, narrow staircase winding down uh, into the earth. Okay. Well, the eye, I think, is the symbol of whale. I think, I think it's a mystery symbol. I'm not 100% okay. sure. Well, wait, this... Consider it done. Ah. It's right much. here. Nothing Leave too it to exciting me. on that one. So it's right, right, left. No, wait. Right, left, left, straight. Oh, hell. I'm lost already. Okay, it's a, uh, what does this do then? No idea, I'll hit it a few times though. Makes me feel better. Well, this one opens this door, right? Ah, but some of them are closed doors. I understand. Okay. Well, where do we go from here? Oh, we go out that door, so this one will open it, right? Yeah, okay. This is fine so far. Keep traveling through. You gonna fight anything in here, or is it all about a puzzle? I could, I could uh, see enjoying a puzzle dungeon. What's this one open? That one. Interesting. Oh, we have a, we have a thing over here. Oh, okay. Plague of Insect Scroll. Good. Cannot disarm the trap. Do you want to trigger it? No. Wait, that wasn't me who yeah. tried it, though. How did I not try it? Also, uh, mechanics up. I just noticed we leveled up. Diplomacy up. Here, sap could be useful. Um, Potentially. I don't know. What else have we got here that could be useful? Here, our upgrade of our smoke bomb it does do damage at the top level. I'm not really worried about that. Withering strike, also I'm not too worried about. Um, hmm. I don't know. I don't know. We could take the one that gives us extra damage, but I think actually what we're going to do is we're going to take uncanny luck. Just a 5% uh, extra chances to crit, 5% extra resistance to everything. Just really good. Then here, uh, we can take another one of these. We don't have hunting bow as a bow that we can use. Let's take it. Yeah. There we go. Wait, is hunting bow the one we're mm -hmm. using right now? No, we're using uh, war bow. Oh, I should have got the dagger specialization, of course, but whatever. Fine. Oh, we must be close to this one. We're nine damage you'll fire off from that one. Interesting. I got this. Yeah. We got it. Uh, yeah, we only needed a six, so uh, it must have been someone else who tried the trap previously. Yeah, it was all party assist, though. It was somebody else who tried it originally. Alright, does this one open the door? Yeah. Seems to. And what do we have here? An abandoned dog, that's what we have here. No, why does it right get here. Palagina to do it? Watch why doesn't it get the person with the highest mechanics to do it? it? Doesn't make any sense at all. And when we look here, now our mechanics are. Uh... Yeah, we can't see them. Oh, that actually doesn't let us see. Weird. Be right there. Obviously, because I was talking about it. We have a dog named El. Elil? Elil? One resolve and bonus to melee damage. Nice. Cool. 
Head through here. This one? Yeah, okay. This is fine. This one? I believe this place is leading us in circles. Or worse. Okay. This one? Give me a real challenge. But what one did that open? That didn't open that door. Interesting. Was this one open? Okay. The what? Now we're getting into the puzzle bit. What's this one do? Hmm. So it it opens and shuts. Now they're both done. Both of those are down now. I'm gonna split up. Mm hmm We're gonna stay here. Consider it done. This one shuts the door behind us. I'm gonna figure out which one does it. Good thinking. I thought so. How about this one? That one does it, okay. We would have to leave someone behind to do that. Interest. Thinking about it. I'm gonna send. Indeed. Well, if we, there's gonna be a fight, the, obviously the puzzle is to get everyone through. What do you need? So that door opens that door. This one is now open. That one's open as well. Through this way? I solved it. I well, don't see why not. Ooh, okay. We got some more in here as well. I'm gonna ignore them until we find a door. Found a door. What's this one open? That one opens the door that we're at. We're in the center. Okay. What is this gonna do? The Eye of Whale. Scepter. 10% chance to become invisible on scoring a critical hit and a chance to cast a random illusion spell? Huh. How weird. What's this do? We've got come. Oh. Well, that's not good. Palagina. Finally time for you to do something. Right. You see that shade next to us? Kill it. Uh, we'll get Zoti. Death to those who oppose the republics. Do your second wind. We'll get Eddier. Do knock this one over. I think that shade is already dead. She's gonna attack this one. Zoti's doing that. Aloth is gonna attack this one. We're gonna run out and attack this one. Go. Yeah, being one down already is very nice for us. Okay. Uh, gouging strike it so we don't do like damage. How do you like that? Yeah! Nice. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, oh, yeah, kill it. Yes, she didn't use it. Death take you. There we go. Yeah. Go. That's good. Uh, we're still all right. We're actually going to kill this one very quickly. Uh, she needs to use athletics to heal up. Try this. I'll take oh, We got level up. Nice. Uh, we're gonna go flank. This won't do. I can't flank because of the angle it's at. It's still flanked. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's all okay. Oh, does Moss have the one that hurts himself on? He does. Ah. Yeah. That's why he keeps Show screaming. Show him how it's done. Uh, yeah, we'll devastate and blow it. No. <laughs> nice. Switch out to the bow. No loot to get. 
quick save, this will now open all doors, right? Oh, it did. I got this. It already did open all doors. Yeah. Uh, I want to leave. Take me whichever way gets me out of here. Okay. Weird. One odd little dungeon. We got a weapon that we're never going to use, probably, because... I don't think we have a use for it. There's there's definitely a way to have a use for it. Going invisible and hit. Like, if we were a rogue using a mace, primarily, that could be good. Yeah, I could see that working. I don't know. I could see it working, potentially. The island's name. Uh, I don't know. What are we going to call it? Hmm. Uh, I think I'm going to call it that. A very subtle name, I would say. Very subtle. Right. Um, I want to check was what's the upgrade to this. Uh, form Phantasmic. Grants Form Phantasmic. Uh, grants uh, the random defensive illusion spell when the cast becomes bloodied. Oh, okay. Legendary, obviously, we know what that does. Plus two to all power illusion spells. Chance to cast a random affliction upon scoring a crit. And lidless gaze. Ooh, it can petrify people. Anyway, legendary in case you didn't know it was extra damage. Basically just the next level up. What's our thing do? If we got the we haven't got the burn damage, we must have not got a trigger on that. Interesting. Well, that's fine. Head out by whichever way we need to. Right. And that is us explored all of Tikawara. Or all the islands around it. I'm gonna head out this way so we can avoid the junk. Uh kinda wanna just head to Nekatakas. We'll just take the fastest route there. Is that gonna follow? There we go. That's what I was looking for. Oh the storms do move! I didn't even notice that. Okay. Oh, must be every time we've looked at one, uh, we've been stopped because time only moves when we do. No. Yeah, okay. Fine. I shouldn't use that. I should just let the follow camera do its job. Anyway. Fine. Uh, two places we need to go. Brass Citadel and we need to go to Queen's Birth. Uh, let's head to Queen's Birth first. We want to head to the Map Emporium. And tell him that we've done it and he will tell us the next place to go and explore. It's cool. I kind of like having the map in Porium. It, set, it gives you a little bit of structure for the game. Welcome back, welcome back. It is a pleasure to see you once again. Tell me, how is the sailing? Smooth? Nothing to delay your expedition, I hope. How might I assist you? I got some material for your book. I could not have hoped for a better partner in this endeavor. Your well-deserved pay, of course. Why stop here? We're making good headway, and you've certainly proven yourself. I'm sending you far out west this time, past Port Maje, past the Wakara Reef, and even the Kangati Islands. Okay. Nobody's been out that way in ages. All manner of dark stories. I'm sure you'll be fine. I'll be waiting. Interesting. Uh, ooh, we also had some level ups. Um, we're gonna get uh, an alchemy onto a lot here, and a metaphysics. Then, um, I don't know, one more ability. We have the frost one. I suppose we do have water. We also have lightning attack. Let's get lightning penetration. And he already has all magical implements. I guess we should get him a better ability to use non-magical implement. Maybe we could get him something that allows him to use a shield. If we need him to. Uh, I don't know. Let's get him. Um... Oh, I have absolutely no idea. How about mace? That seems good. Yeah. With mace, actually, we could probably give him uh, this. Oh, it's a scepter, not a mace. Wait, a scepter? Does that mean it's ranged? Oh, wait, also, at the moment the scepter is in your hands, a chorus of voices rise. They chant in the Gwithin. Old Adirian, Valian, Huana, each word holding its echo in languages you do not know. We read the books not yet written. We see beyond the Shroud of Death. We see. Seek the heart of all knowledge. We walk on the plains beyond. Defy the wheel, defy death. Take a seal, the eye, the mark, awaken. 
inscribed along the shaft of the scepter is the phrase Historica Proliferita. The Proliferata? Anyway, if that's a scepter, that means it's better than his... Yeah, that's so much better than his standard scepter. Even though his, his, his is the key breaker one. It's alright. And look at the damage to start with. What else does his do? What's the upgrades on his one? Yeah, it's Maothe monothe a misotheist. So that's uh, reflect punishment condemnation attacks and reject the wheel. Yeah, okay. Not really that interested. So this one now gives him a lot more damage and a chance of all of these extra illusion spells. That's cool. We could upgrade it as well for him if we wanted. Form Phantasmic. Could be very useful actually. We'll leave it for just now. He's probably not going to be cat. He's probably not going to be attacking that much. Got level mm -hmm. up on Zoti. Zoti's going to get ourselves an alchemy, then a religion. Uh, following on from that. I oh, know what did we take last time? We took the. I think we took a passive last time, didn't we? Or I think no, we took something on this side. Maybe. Oh, I thought it took, we took this one last time. No. Ah, no, we took this one last time. That's it. We can upgrade our fists. Wait, we already did upgrade our fists. No, we haven't. We can upgrade our fists. Uh, deal shock damage. Oh, that doesn't matter. A weapon melee critical hits have a chance to trigger another attack instantly. We don't do that many crits. Yeah. Just do bleed damage. We already hit... Uh, oh. Rooting pain. Interrupts and does a small amount of damage. Maybe the interrupt's worth it on that one. We'll take it. Then here, uh, I think an upgrade on shield seems good. Although she's never going to use another shield. Oh, she's never going to use another weapon. Let's get her... I suppose we could continue uh, allowing her to use more ranged weapons. Not that we really want her on ranged, but it's an option. Happy to oblige. And then Eddier will give him athletics, intimidate, and... I don't know. One of these. He's pretty much stocked up on things. I think we're going to give him another um, defensive buff. I don't know. Let's see. Immunity uh, to dexterity afflictions is pretty nice. Does he already have immunity to... Like, yeah, he does. Immunity to resolve afflictions. I was thinking mental ones, though. Maybe he doesn't get that. Now let's give him immunity to uh, dexterity afflictions. Uh, and then we will for him. I don't know, we could allow him to, t to use someone else. How about a hatchet? Nobody else uses the hatchet. Okay, there we go. Actually, mm -hmm. I think Seraphin can use the hatchet, but yeah, we want him on the dual blunderbuss build. That's fine. Okay, so once we leave here. We're heading back to the Brass Sistel to pick up mail. Find out what's going on. Right. Along here as fast as we can. And we should get a little bit more of her quest. Hopefully she'll uh, tell us what she's been up to. I'm very intrigued. Uh, I think it was Imperial Command. Where we're going to meet her. I could be wrong though. Fine. It's not too far away if it isn't Imperial Command. It's kind of in the center. That's definitely where we dropped her off, so. Okay, and I'll just do a quick check on where she is. Oh, this is a skull level, so we shouldn't go there just yet. Okay. Uh, where is it? Not one of these? Uh, it's not one of those. Interesting. I'm sure it said that we should meet her here, or maybe that was at the end of another quest. What was her quest name? I don't think it's any of these, right? No, it's none of those. Oh, there we go. A courier's calling. Um, she's returned. She's eager to talk about things. I thought it said that we are. Oh, it showed us the previous option. We didn't actually have to go to the brass system. We just have to talk to her. 
that's fine, we can do that on the ship. Oh, did we have another bounty to hand in? I don't think we did, but let's just have a look and see. Uh, bounty to hand in. Uh, it's going to be that one. Nope, haven't been there yet. No other bounties that we need to worry about. Nope. Um, There is a Valian Trading Company one where we need to go to the Luminous Bathhouse, right? Yeah, we should go there next. Director Castol told me to make contact with Brizzy, a Valian Trading Company spy working undercover at the Luminous Bathhouse. Hmm. May switch up our party as well before we do that. We just go ship. Ah, no, we can't. That's fine. I was just checking there whether we could. I, I, I know that I haven't seen any proof that we could from this point, but we'll see. Um, also, what other quest do we have? We have the Principe one that we need to go and do, don't we? Uh, we have to go speak with Captain Ferrante in Dunage. Dunage the only place we haven't been. Or, like, one place we haven't been yet. I think we could head off to Dunage, probably. Yeah, I don't know if we have anything else that takes us there, but we could definitely go there. Hasonga we also need to go to. I kind of want to pursue the godlike pirates for Kalajina. Yeah, okay, we have two reasons to go there. We'll go there instead. Uh, so let's leave uh, by sea. Yeah. And then head over to Dunage and talk to uh, Ferrante. See what he has to say. I'll get... Uh, Two quests done, and it moves us into a new area, which is always fantastic. Right, so, uh, quickly, we're going to switch our part. Well, this party's... F well, no, we want Seraphim with us. So, if we're taking Seraphim with us, we're probably not taking... Z z we're not taking a Loth. We'll take Seraphim instead. There we go. And then we'll we need to go onto the ship. And we can go find the uh, person we're looking for here. Maya. That's her name. Not on the deck. Oh, she is on the deck. Fantastic. Hello. So, we're back. Did you miss us? Maya smiles a little, the side of her mouth twitching. Ishiza offers a friendly squawk. Where were you? Actually, of course I missed you. Well, thanks. It was just me and the bird for a couple of days, and we're sick to death of each other. Something happened out there, and it's got me all turned around. Maya fixes her attention on a distant point. Speak your mind. I didn't exactly deliver a missive. That parchment was meant for me, and I delayed opening it as long as I could. She folds her arms. Atsura gave me a name and a location. That was all. When you're a sharpshooter by trade and your boss doesn't offer clarification, you learn to arrive at your own conclusions. We're going to say nothing. We'll let her talk. The rub of it is, my target wasn't some ship's captain or an ogre swinging a fence post. He was the Ranga of a Huana tribe. He raises her brow and studies you for any reaction. Why don't you start from the beginning? Nodding to you, Maya shrugs away some tension that you hadn't noticed before. The village was beachside. No sign of foreign occupation. I might have been the first outsider to make land in quite a while. They were just simple folk going about their lives. Couldn't have been more than 50 of them. Their Ranga, though? He had a voice that carried, that echoed in the hearts of his people. Her eyes narrow as she concentrates on a far-off point. What did he speak about? He called for unity with the neighboring tribes, the setting aside of bad blood. His people listened, and listened well. He was my target. You can guess what happened next. Maya shrugs, squeezing her forearms to release some tension. Tell me anyway. I picked a spot in a time of day. Morning, west facing, plenty of tree cover. The light was in my favor. The winds were low. He left his hut, mussed his kid's hair, and set off for the beach on the other side of the island, checking lobster traps. Ishii followed him overhead, and I followed him with my sights, holding my breath. Waiting for the right moment. And then I stopped. I pictured all those captains I'd riddled with holes and wondered. Is this how we treat civilians? Is this how wars are won? And you spared his life? No, I killed him all right. I shot him in the back of the head. He was a corpse before he hit the ground. He opens her fingers like a flower blooming. 
It took a while for his kin to find him, but only seconds to figure out that he didn't die of a weak heart. He chews her bottom lip and glances towards Isiza. What happened next? This tribe surprised me. They acted like I kicked over their anthill. They got mad. They got to work. The old Ranga went onto a pyre, and the new one snapped into place. She took up the call for unity while the embers were still warm. Mia shakes her head, grinning a little. Acted like I hadn't just killed her boss for doing the same thing. Hmm. Okay. Which one are we going to go for? Um... So, killing the chieftain didn't rattle the tribe? They mourned, they seethed, they tore out their hair. But they rebuilt. By the time I left, they were talking about peace with the other tribes like it was inevitable. A slow smile of astonishment rises to her face. So have we been delivering assassination missions this whole time? Fair question. Short answer? I don't know. He friends down at Ishiza. Atsuri uses different codes for each of us. I could teach myself to write Angwithin before I cracked another agent's instructions. Did it make a difference to you that Rangan was a civilian? Of course. I shoot to disrupt soldiers and end conflicts. Not to stifle ideas or crush spirits. That's Valian work. Doesn't sound like your mission was a success. I completed my mission. I leave Atsura to worry about whether or not it was a success. Sighing to herself, Mia tugs at her hair bun, worrying a loose lock. If you don't mind, I need to let this brew in my head for a while and see what bubbles up. Thanks for letting me unload in the meantime. We should talk to Atsura. He'll want to know that I've done as he asked. Tell me why I shouldn't tell everyone in the dead fire about this. She blinks slowly, her expression vacant as she gives the silence of the moment its deserving weight. You have no evidence. I'll deny everything, and the Navy will forget they ever knew me. Maya folds her arms. Three reasons. Now back off, Captain. I need to clean my gun. Maya turns from you and says no more. Interesting. Interesting. I'm intrigued to see where that goes. Yeah. It also didn't give us the option to kick her off the uh, boat, which is interesting. Yeah. Interesting. I do want to see where all of that goes, but we're going to have to wait on that a little bit. Now, I want to head to Dunage. Now, that's all the way to the east. That's so far to the east. I still have to head past to Sango to go there, but that's alright. Uh, do you want to head and explore the bottom part of the map and then head up? I think that's probably the best way, so we'll head down here. Really quickly. There we go. Full speed ahead. Is that colored in because we get plus one on that, I think? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know why that's colored in blue. I should leave follow camera on. There we are. It's because it's the better way of exploring. Hmm. We should get a better ship at some point, but I'm okay with our current one. What I use it for. But a much better ship could be really cool. We, we could sell some stuff. We can probably afford it eventually. The only problem is right now we have to run away from everything. We got medical supplies. That's all right. What have we got down here? You hear a knock at the door to your quarters. Okay. Unexpectedly cold wind blows across the deck of the ship and even after several hours has not abated. Old Agram sheepishly knocks on your cabin door when he enters his skin is pale, his brow dotted with beads of sweat. I beg your pardon, Captain, but an ill wind sent by Andra. We've sailed too long without offering her tribute. I'm sure she'll punish us if we don't give her what she's due. He tilts his head towards the hatch, beckoning you to follow him on deck. No, no, wind is a natural phenomenon. I told you about this before, nothing to worry about. I clicked the wrong one. Captain, you're defying Andra. Wait, I clicked the wrong one. Did I? No, I clicked the right one. Wind is a natural phenomenon, I think. You explain at length how the ocean winds, he protests, no educate. We've done this one before. Just the morale event. I think these are just, re they just recycle if you, uh, for a while. I kind of thought these would be more unique, but that's alright. We'll head down here. By more unique, obviously something can't be more unique. It's either unique or it's not, but yeah. You get what I'm saying. A Valian Mill. Okay. They sell cheap lager. Buy it. 
No, I want to trade, but I also wanted to sell them everything that we have that we don't want, so. Sell them all the blues as well here. A lot of stuff we're getting to sell. Nice. Nice. We're making quite a lot off of this trade. Oh, wow. You went and said, we'll buy some beer and... Do you want all these weapons that we have? Enough to, uh, you know, set you up for a while as an army. Yeah, sure. We'll keep the torches. Oh, we can sell pretty much all of that armor. That's fine. We've over doubled the amount of money that we have now. That's crazy. 49,000. Oh, wow. Okay, let's head up here. Grab the fresh fruit. Grab what's on this one. Is that just a burial site? There's Valey and... Yeah, we're not going to raid any graveyards. None at all. Shocking as it is. Search the location. Grabbed a bunch of stuff off of that. The same stuff every time. Not worried about it. Right. Head out. Uh, we want to head south from here south as we can get. See if there's anything at the bottom of the map. I don't imagine that there is, but you know, while we're exploring, we might as well get as much. See, this one's right in the corner. There might, there might be stuff all the way down here. Abandoned village. Cool. We'll search it. Gained a blunting belt. Ooh. Armor belt. Nice. Nothing else there. The sand swept ruins down here. Interesting. How close to the corner are we? Oh, this is pretty much the corner. Interesting. I want to head up this way for winding path. Let's head to the sand swept ruins first. That's a little bit skull for us. The spot where that works. There we go. Searing hot winds rip across the dunes. You shield your face from the onslaught, but it's of little use. The sand makes its way into every vulnerable little crevasse it can find. You spot a structure ahead. Forge ahead. Up close, it appears to be the ruins of an ancient Huana building, perhaps a temple. An obscured entrance leads into a sand covered hillside. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Ooh. Quick save. We need to upgrade Ser Seraphin a little bit. Uh, with sleight of hand and bluff. And then here, he has next level. So mind plague. Amplified wave. So crush damage around an ally. Interesting. And then disintegration. 240 raw damage. That's targets. Uh, wait, so which one? Targets that have their health dropped to zero are disintegrated. Oh, wow. Ooh, what's the empty soul? Target spell effects that target the enemy's will gain bonus accuracy. Well, that's good. Yeah, I like that one. I'm gonna take that one and disintegrate. Yeah. Okay. And I think we were gonna end the episode here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.